Good evening. My name is Howard. I'm here at Channel Lakes Presbyterian Church in Blaine, Minnesota. We're recording tonight a music benefit for Ukraine. April 30th, I go back on my fifth mission in Ukraine. I'll be in Lviv, Kiev, and Kharkiv. My mission is to share expressive therapies, art, and music with uh, civilians, refugees, and soldiers, but also to bring a resource from our VA PTSD Center in Palo Alto. May 22, I asked to have the VA PTSD coach app translated into Ukrainian. December 22, I was in Bucharest, where Code for Romania translated our best resource for our vets, the PTSD coach app, into Ukrainian. It went live in January, and I'm going to ask every soldier I can to put this app on their phone because we lose more soldiers to suicide than combat. It's estimated that 10 million Ukrainians are going to be suffering from PTSD. Through art and music and this app, we hope to save some lives. Our first song is Finlandia. This is my song. Grandma came from Finland. It's a national anthem of Finland. The Finnish people went through this with the Soviets in the 1930s. That's why so many EU volunteers stand with Ukraine. Many of the members are foreign legion, are EU vets. For Ukraine, we all stand for her freedom and for her peace one day. So 2003, four, Gary Allen wrote this song for our vets who are going to Iraq for the second time. He's an army veteran. I have shared this song with Ukrainian fathers missing their daughters. Tough little boys. I never once backed down from a pond square on the chin I found out fast bull is just that you got to stand up to him I got a black eye as bad as it hurt I just grin when tough little boys grow up to be dads they turn into big babies again 
scared me to death when you took your first steps i fought every time you fell down first day of school i cried like a fool and i followed your school bus to town i didn't cry when old yellow died at least not in front of my friends tough little boys grow up to be dads and turn into big babies again i'm a grown man but as strong as i am sometimes it's hard to believe one little girl little black girl totally terrify me if you were to ask my wife would just laugh she say i know all about men tough little boys grow up to be dads they turn into big babies again i know one day i'll give you away i'm gonna stand there and smile when i get home I'm all alone, I'll sit in your room for a while. I didn't cry when old yellow died, at least not in front of my friend. When tough little boys grow up to be dads, they turn into big babies again. Tough little boys grow up to be dads. Turn into big babies again. Thirty years ago, my health care career began as in New York City at a private psychiatric hospital. I spent long nights in the acute psych unit, a methadone clinic, and a detox unit, helping people recover from their opiate addiction. I've been singing this song for 30 years. I sang this for someone I revived from Narcan along West Broadway as I drove her to HCMC. So I sing this for everyone struggling with opiate addiction. So she woke up Woke up from where she was, lying still. Said, I gotta do something about where we're going. Stepped on a steam train, stepped out of the driving rain, maybe. Run from the darkness in the night Singing a la la di day A la di la di day A la la di day Sweet the sin, bitter the taste in my mouth. I see seven towers, but only see one way out. You gotta cry without weeping, talk without speaking, scream without raising your voice. You know I took the poison. From the poison stream and I floated out of here Singing a la de la de day A la de la de day, a de la de day She runs through the streets with her eyes painted red. 
under the black belly of a cloud in the rain through a doorway she brings me white gold and pearls stolen from the sea she is raging she is raging and the storm blows up in her eyes she will suffer the needle chill She's running to stand still. So Tracy Chapman, same year that this song came out with Joshua Tree and U2, began her career from Subway, New York City. She sang for Nelson Mandela's birthday. And this is her breakthrough song. And the CMA gave her an award this year for Luke Combs bringing this back. Fast car. You got a fast car. I want a ticket to anywhere. Maybe we can make a deal. Maybe together we can get somewhere. Any place is better. Start from zero, got nothing to lose. Maybe we'll make something. Me, myself, I got nothing to prove. You got a fast car. I got a plan to get us out of here. Been working at a convenience store. Man, to save just a little bit of money. Won't have to drive too far. Cross the border and into the city. And you and I can both get jobs. Finally see what it means to be living My old man's got a problem Live with a bottle, that's the way it is Said his body's too old for working Body's too young to look like this Mama went off and left him She wanted more light than he could give And said somebody's got to take care of him I quit school and that's what I did You got a fast car So fast enough you can fly away You gotta make a decision Leave tonight, live it out this way Driving, driving in your car, speed so fast like I thought I was drunk. See lights lay out before, sitting there up and round, well, round my shoulder. And I, I had a feeling that I belonged. I, I had a feeling I could be someone, be someone, be someone. Entertain ourselves, you still ain't got a job. I work at the market as a checkout girl. I know things will get better. You'll find work and I'll get promoted. And we'll move out of the shelter, buy a big house, and live in the suburbs. I remember when we're driving, driving in your car, speed so fast like I was drunk. I think I'd be around my force and you're up the round, round, round my shoulder. And I, I had a feeling that I belong. I, I had a feeling I could be someone, be someone, be someone. You got a fast car. I got a job that pays all our bills. Stay out drinking late at the bar. See more your friends than you do your kids. I always hope for better. Maybe we together we can get somewhere. I ain't got no plans, I ain't going nowhere. Take your fast car and keep on driving. I remember when we're driving, driving in your car. Speed so fast, I thought I was drunk. See your lights lay up and force, and you're off the round, round, round my shoulder. I, I had a feeling that I belong. I, I 
and a feeling I could be someone, be someone, be someone. You got a fast car, so fast enough you can fly away. You gotta make a decision, leave tonight, live it out this way. Nineteen eighty nine, White Lion. This song was on the charts, and I played this again and again before I went active duty in the U.S. Army. I made a pledge to God that I'm not going to kill; I'm going to help people heal. That was my sense of mission then. It's my sense of mission now in Ukraine and Lebanon. Children cry. Little child, dry your crying eyes. How can I explain the fear you feel inside? You were born into this evil world where man is killing a man. No one knows just why. What have we become? Just look what we have done. All that we destroy, you must build again. When the children cry, let them know we try. Is when the children sing, then the new day begins. Little child. You must show the way to a better day for all the young. As you were born for the world to see that we all can live with love and peace. No more presidents and all the wars will end. One united world. Under God, when the children cry, let them know we try. Is when the children sing, then a new world begins. What have we become? Just look what we have done. All that we destroy, you must build again. No more presidents, and all the wars will end. One united world under God. When the children cry, let them know we try. Is when the children fight, let them know it ain't right. Is when the children pray. Let them know the way, 'cause when the children sing, then the new world begins. Snow globe of peace for every refugee child. I just want to give an overview of Howie's art circles for the last seven years. It was February 2017 when I went to Beirut on an immigration case. Shaza was someone with different abilities, and her caregiver died. Her dad died, so she was stuck in Aleppo in the middle of a, a civil war. We were trying to get humanitarian relief to get her uh, released from Aleppo through the Golan Heights, through Israel to get her to Germany to be with her family. That's why I went to Beirut. But when I went to Beirut, I saw all these Syrian refugee children panhandling in the streets. And when I saw them, I remembered the children of South Africa in 2002, the AIDS orphans. 
and Kenya, the AIDS orphans, 2003-2004. I trained as an art therapist at Sonoma State. That, that was my clinical focus in my master's. So when I saw those children, not in school, being forced to panhandle, if they don't raise enough money, they don't get a pillow to put their head on at night. So I went to the, the bookstore and I purchased crayons and markers. And we started doing art circles along Hummer Street, which is a main uh, boulevard next to American University of Beirut. I've been to Lebanon three times, Amman, Jordan, Palestine twice, and in Bahrain in 2013. Those are six missions in the Middle East. And because of our work in Beirut with the Syrian refugees, when we saw the full-scale invasion, 224, 224 is like 9-11 for Ukraine. But we need to remember that this war started February 2014 when Russia invaded Donbass and Crimea. 224-22 is when it became a full-scale invasion. So I went to Ukraine in March, May, July, and December of 22. After four missions, I had to take a break. But what we did was we set up art circles. Art circles like we did in Beirut. We were in the World Central Kitchen Tents at seven train stations. And the most beautiful thing happened. There's a song by, uh, check this out, song out, Billy Joe's Leningrad. It's a song about Victor, a Russian soldier who heals by being a clown in a circus. He heals from the scars of war by helping children laugh at the circus. So I told Dennis, a guy from Cincinnati, a Russian-American from Cincinnati, volunteering at the World Central Tent in Warsaw. I trained him in the expressive therapies and for two months, Dennis, my victor, did art circles with the refugee children that were coming through that World Central tent right next to the train station. So I go back now on my fifth mission with crayons and markers and music as expressive therapies because that's what we found works for our soldiers in the VA, in our VA centers, but also May 22, I asked the VA PTSD Center in Palo Alto, you, you have this app, PTSD Coach app, you have this in Spanish, what would it take to be in Ukrainian? So, in Bucharest, December 22, I went and Code for Romania took this project, took two years, but Code for Romania translated our PTSD coach app. It's now live in Ukrainian since January. So I go to Ukraine again, Lviv, Kiev, and Kharkiv, sing for the soldiers, crayons and markers for the children in the subways during the air raid sirens, but also for them to put this app on their phone because it's estimated 10 million Ukrainians are going to have PTSD. Our best VA resource is going to help prevent suicides. One of my favorite theological statements, to save one life, it's if you saved all of humanity. That's in the Talmud and the Quran. So to give you an overview of these last seven years, this video of this blind Syrian girl is what inspired me seven years ago with the art circles. UNICEF put this together. This is in a suburb outside Damascus where they did art circles with the children recovering from the Syrian war.
If you Google my name in New York Times, you'll see a letter that I wrote, Inconsistent on Refugees, February 19th, 22. Sorry, April 19th, 22. Having been to Beirut, Amman, Jordan, Bahrain, and having been to Ukraine and Poland four times, I see the glaring contrast of how we responded to these refugee crises. Same number of Syrian refugees as Ukrainians but our response was very different when they're blue-eyed and blonde hair and Christian versus Muslim children. So when Amy Grant was here at the State Theater, I shared this song with her during intermission because it's her song, Finlandia, Be Still My Soul, that I put to this video of the children in Beirut. I call them my little Picassos. still my soul the Lord is on thy side bear patiently the cross of grief or pain leave to thy God to change he 
I caused a ruckus at the Starbucks on Hamra because I was a customer. I invited some of the kids in that were panhandling and we had an art therapy circle when it was busy. And uh, <laughs> some people didn't like that, but I sent a note to Starbucks thanking them for helping us care for their Syrian refugee children. So March 22, I went to Lviv and our barracks were bombed outside Lviv as I was heading to the barracks. Angels watching over me, had I went straight through from Poland to Lviv, I would have been in those barracks the night it was bombed. Many of our volunteers left then. So my mission as a US Army vet was air defense. I wanted to help train and advise Ukrainian soldiers in air defense because when I was in the Army, we trained to fight the Soviets. So our air defense to fight the Soviets translates well to supporting Ukraine's air defense to protect their skies. So March, May, July, December 22, whenever the air raid sirens started blaring, if there was a bomb shelter, we would take the transit markers to the bomb shelter if they were near the train station um, where the tents, uh, humanitarian relief tents were, we would do art circles to give the kids a diversion from the fear and anxiety when they hear those air raid sirens. Because when you have PTSD and you hear that air raid siren, that trigger brings all the PTSD symptoms. So art, music, and this PTSD coach app is gonna help the 10 million Ukrainians recovering from the psychological trauma of this full-scale invasion. So there's another video. Uh, it's, the song is uh, from, uh, sorry, I gotta remember the title now. Having a brain fart. So it was, uh, Dear uh, Evan Hansen, when that musical came out, I was on my first flight back from my first mission, and I was just going through the movies on the plane, and I found this musical. And when I heard this song, I knew this was a song for Ukraine and for all those refugees on the move. Thank you. 
the strength and resiliency. What we see in the TV and print is often a doom and a gloom. We don't see, the, the, one of my gospel slogans, after 24 years as a chaplain is out of tragedy comes hope. We have free choice and there's gonna be evil in our world and there's gonna be minuses, but God's gonna take that minus and make it a positive. And I see that again and again. So for our vets, 20 years of war in Iraq and Afghanistan. Our PTSD center in Palo Alto is the best research center on PTSD. So when they make an app, and I know it's in Spanish, we gotta get in Ukrainian. And this app is free from Kofa Romania. All you gotta do is Google Kofa Romania PTSD Coach app on Google Play, either iPhone or Android. Once you have that app, you have some diagnostics and some self-guided uh, you know, mindfulness, relaxation. They know the symptoms that soldiers struggle with, so they have these coping skills that you can go through. And it's all in Ukrainian now. I won't show you the Ukrainian. I won't show you the Ukrainian because that is uh, not going to be helpful for you. You're not going to be able to read it. But I'm going to show you the PTSD coach app, the promo from our VA center. Patricia Helmick suffers from PTSD. Although she's under a therapist's care, there are times when her symptoms are triggered when she's on her own. When that happens, she turns to her smartphone and clicks on an app. I'll be like sad or hopeless or worried or anxious, pick one of those categories, and then I just click on it and it gives me a tool to use to help get me out of that mood and get me raring to go. So this is the... Patricia is using the PTSD Coach app, jointly developed by the VA and the DOD. When we spoke to veterans to ask them what they would like their phone to do for them, if their phone could help them with PTSD, they said, I want something that will help me in the moment when I'm in distress or um, have been triggered or I'm really struggling. The PTSD coach was developed with four main components, education about PTSD, a self-assessment tool to track symptoms, coping tools to help veterans get through difficult moments, and a crisis button that immediately calls 911 or the Veterans Crisis Line. Thank you for calling the Veterans Crisis Line. This is Kaylee. How can I help you? All of the information provided is entirely consistent with what's provided on our National Center for PTSD webpage and on our My Healthy Vet site. The coping tools that help veterans get through difficult moments is the heart of the PTSD coach. It's organized to allow the individual to identify what sort of symptoms they're dealing with in that moment. So maybe they've just been triggered by a reminder of the trauma, or they're having trouble sleeping, or they're feeling anger. And it allows them to identify those symptoms, and then we provide tailored coping skills that can help them get through that moment. For example, if you're feeling highly anxious or triggered, the app provides very clear relaxation tools. One is a progressive muscle relaxation exercise, and another one is a guided imagery exercise to help people sort of go to a, a peaceful place and just for a few minutes take a break from their current experience. Other problems also commonly occur alongside PTSD. Jonathan Pilgrim uses the coping tools when stressful situations unexpectedly come up. One time I had a individual come up to me out on the street in Baltimore asked me for money. I said no and he became very upset. I was agitated and I just used one of the skills for feeling agitated and it was very helpful in bringing me back into being mindful of this is the city. Um, things like this are going to happen. Jordan Kettner customized the app by putting in tools that he finds soothing. You know, I have pictures of my boys on there, my wife on there, and it throws a picture of that, and because it does that for me, it just brings a smile, and it's like, um, it's not going to cure anything, you know, and I don't think anyone's going to be looking at it, but it's certainly a nice coping, another tool that you can use. 
Jordan also uses the app's self-assessment tool that helps track symptoms over time. When you're tracking yourself, then when you have everything laid down, you can go and you can talk to one of your practitioners and be like, here, um, I know this is a little silly, but I have a PTSD app, a PTSD coach, and uh, here's how I've been feeling the last few weeks, or here's how I've been feeling the last few months. If you know if you are, you can click on that. Dr. Santanello believes the PTSD coach can help in recovery. I'm very excited about it. There's a lot of potential here for it to be almost in some ways a missing link between therapy and you know recovery in the real world, so to speak. For Patricia, Jordan, and Jonathan, and thousands of other veterans, that link may be a lifeline. We learn from Vietnam. We learn from First World War, Second Cold War, or Second World War. We used to call it shell shock. Now we know it's PTSD from Vietnam. 750,000 Vietnam vets are coping with PTSD, and we lose more to suicide than combat. We don't want to see the same tragedy in Ukraine. That's why we're getting this app and as many soldiers' phones as we can so that they can go home to their families and build new chapters. Out of tragedy comes hope. Nineteen eighty seven, in Prince's Sign of the Times album, he wrote a song during the first Cold War. And for many scholars and pundits, we're in the second Cold War. So this song is very fitting to bring back to this time. In France, skinny man died of a big disease with a little name. By chance his girlfriend came across a needle and soon she did the same. At home there were 17 year old boys and their idea of fun is being a gang called the disciples high on crack, towing the machine guns. Times. Times. Hurricane neighbors seen off a church and killed everyone inside. You tell you tell never your stories telling you somebody died. Sister killed a baby because she couldn't afford to feed it. It was in the paper to the moon. September comes right before the very first time. Now it's doing hers. It's June. Times. Times the silly no when the rocket ship explodes and everybody still wants to fly. Some say a man a happy last man truly dies. Why? Time. Time. Star Wars fly, maybe just shine it on. If the night falls and a bomb falls, but see the dawn times, pay attention. Times, silly no, when the rocket ship explodes, everybody still wants to fly. Some say a man a happy last man truly died. Oh, I sign of time. Sign of time as your mind, her voice too late. Let's fall in love, get married, have a baby. We call me Nate if it's a boy. Time. Time, time, time.
time. The same album, Prince Wrote the Cross. Many people don't appreciate Prince's complex personality and his art. What Prince showed me as a teenager, that spirituality and sexuality and intimacy actually is a Venn diagram. So this song is B-side song of the cross. Prince became a Jehovah Witness later in his life. Can you imagine having Prince knocking at your door to give you Jehovah Witness literature? He's a complex cat. And on the 21st is the 8th anniversary of his death to the opiate epidemic. So I sing many Prince songs because he's a soundtrack in my life. And this song for me has been a touchstone of the cross, how we move from Calvary to empty tombs. Minnesota, it snowed today, and I was singing Prince's song, Sometimes It Snows in April, all day. Steve Earle was here 2008, and he performed this song at Harriet Island, and it blew me away the first time I heard it, and when I was in Nebraska serving Westminster Presbyterian Church in Omaha, we saw a lot of toxic immigration debates played out then as they are now. And I sang this song, City of Immigrants, by Steve Earle, all over Nebraska. And we protected the immigrants from having local law enforcement do what only belongs in the federal government. So I sing this for all the Latinos that I served with in L.A., in Omaha, in Nevada. My nickname in the barrio is Tio Gringo. This is for all the Latino children I love. Living in a city of immigrants, I don't need to go traveling. Open the door, the world walks in. Living in a city of immigrants. Living in a city that never sleeps. My heart keeps the time. City of immigrants, a city of black, a city of white, a city of light, a city of innocence, a city of sweat, 
A city of tears, a city of prayer, a city of immigrants. Hey, 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 living in a city where the dreams of men reach up to touch the sky and then tumble back down to earth again. Living in a city that never quits. Living in a city where the streets are paved with good intentions and a people's faith in the sacred promise that you made. Living in a city of immigrants, a city of stone, a city of steel, a city of wheels, constantly spinning, a city of bone, a city of skin, a city of pain. City of immigrants. All of us are immigrants. All of us are immigrants. Every daughter, every son. All of us are immigrants. Live in a city of immigrants. The river flows out, the sea rolls in, washing away nearly all my sins. Living in the city of immigrants. A city of black, a city of white, a city of light, a city of immigrants, a city of sweat. City of tears, city of prayers, city of immigrants, a city of stone, city of steel, city of wheels, constantly spinning, city of bone, city of skin, a city of pain, city of immigrants. I share this song with a patient this week. And the love and the water in her eyes was a balm in Gilead. This is by Sarah Kroger, Belovedness. You've owned your feet and all your self loathing. You've owned the voices inside of your head. You've owned the shame and reproach of your failures. It's time to own your belovedness. You've owned your past and how it's defined you. You've owned everything everybody else says. It's time to hear what your father has spoken. It's time to own your he says you're mine I smile when I made you I find you beautiful in every way my love for you is fierce and an ending I'll come to find you whatever it takes my beloved you own the mess you see in the mirror that you're just not enough You've been so blinded by all your comparing It's time to own your belovedness He says you're mine Smile when I made you I find you beautiful in every way My love for you is fierce and an ending I'll come to find you It's time to own your belovedness. Each of us is made in the image of God. Own your belovedness.
I told Amy Grant that the theology in her songs, if every church followed her theology and lived it out, every pew would be full. I grew up on Father's Eyes. When I'm training people to be a compassionate witness to survivors of trauma, this is part of my training. I play this song for them and remember eyes full of compassion. just can't be found eyes for love love compassion seeing every pain knowing what you're going through but feeling it the same it's like my father's eyes my father's eyes my father's eyes just like my father's eyes. On that day when we will pay for all the deeds we have done, good and bad they'll all be had, seen by everyone. When I'm called to stand and tell just what you saw in me, more than anything I know, I want your words to be as his father's eyes, his father's eyes, his father's eyes, eyes that find the good in things, the good is not around, eyes that find the source of help, when help just can't be found, eyes Seeing every pain, knowing what you're going through, and feeling it the same. It's like my father's eyes, my father's eyes, my father's eyes, just like my father's eyes. I sang this song May 22 at the border between Poland and Ukraine after we evacuated 60 civilians, mostly moms and children. I sang this at the border because we had to stay there for three hours because they'd do a bomb sweep because someone got on the bus without their papers. So while we're at this uh, World Central Kitchen tent at the border, I decided I might as well sing for it while the children made art. So I sang this for the moms when the children were outside making art. This is Bob Marley's redemption song. I've been singing this since 2011, since the beginning of the Arab Spring. I sang this in Beirut, Bahrain, and now I've been singing it in Ukraine. I'm gonna sing this for the soldiers next month. <laughs> after they took I from the bottomless pit but my hand was made strong by the hand of the almighty we forward in this generation 
triumphantly won't you help to sing these songs of freedom is all I ever have redemption songs redemption songs emancipate yourselves from mental slavery love ourselves can free our minds have no fear for atomic energy none of them can stop the time how long shall we kill our prophets while we stand aside and look Ooh, some say it's just a part of it we've got to fulfill the book Would you help to sing songs of freedom is all I ever had redemption song redemption song songs of freedom songs of freedom when I sing that during the guitar bridge I lift up Gaza Syria Ukraine and I pray freedom at every longitude, every latitude. The church that ordained me in 2005, St. Andrew Presbyterian Church, has been intentionally racially integrated since 1960. When I was an elder there, February was Black History Month. It was a very busy time as an elder at a church that is half black. So this national anthem is now called Lift Every Voice and Sing. And I sing this every February for those African-American matriarchs that made me who I am. Our past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of a new day begun. Let us march on till victory. Stony the road we trod, bitter the chastening rod, felt in the days when hope unborn had died, let with the stay.
lest our feet stray from the places our God where we met thee lest our hearts drunk with the wine of the world forget thee shadow beneath thy hand may we forever stand true to our God true to our native land and our last song is actually President Bush Sr.'s favorite song. There's a great video where he actually does a cameo before Michael W. Smith sings this. And Heather Butterfield shared this was the song at her high school graduation. So in the early 90s, this song for me, going in the Army, traveling, going to school, always making friends and having to try to keep in touch from a distance. And for the youth group I grew up in, Osteo Church in Nazarene. This is for all the friends along the way. Friends are friends forever. Packing up the dream God planted in the fertile soil of you can't believe the hopes he's granted means a chapter in your life is through but we'll keep you close as always my Picassos in Beirut, Poland and Ukraine. We're friends forever. Keep making art. Thank you. <laughs>